If you've got a problem with your Model 3 or Model Y that haven't got enough ports, or even if you've got a couple of the ports, they don't actually work in the way you'd expect them to work. They only are charge ports and not actual ports that will recognize whether you have a USB stick or whether you have a hard drive or whether you have a sentry mode, you can't use the center console ports. But today I have the very fix for you. There it is. It says it's actually found it and it's loading. And there you go. All of the music is there and you've got all your folders working and there it is. 80,000 tracks. <laughs> if you've got 56 pounds, then you're going to be able to have it. And now we're going to go and look on the screen to see whether it's an AMD uh, data processor you've got port or whether you've got an Intel one. And many thanks to Sean for allowing me to use his 2022 Model 3 for this exercise so that I can show you this so that everybody else can see what you need to do. Hit the car icon there. Go to software. Scroll up. Additional vehicle information. It says infotainment in my case is an Intel processor. In Shaw's case it was an AMD. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to show you an accessory that you can't live without. And it's got a lot of reasons why you'd want to put this in. And I'm going to show you how now to actually install it all. And we're going to look at it right now. Now's back talking Tesla. My car is a 2019 Model 3, but this video is correct for all models and all years of the Tesla, including yours. Please subscribe and you'll get the latest releases and I can provide personal help with the features and enhancements if you get stuck. Hello, I'm over here. So this is the data module you get and you can see, look, there's the AMD at 5697 and there's the Intel at 5697 too. So they're the same price and it all comes in the box, whichever you do, but you can't use the wrong one. Now this is where you're going to fit it, just down the side of the centre console as you're facing on the left. Just in those two ports now in the in the unit itself you get you can see a usb to usb a converter so that converts to usb sockets because they're now going to be usb and they're going to be replaced now to get them and to get into them is very easy what you're going to do is just in the kit there's a little spudger and you can use your own spudger but they come with this precise one that's going to fit now what you do is you lower it down into position and then you use your other hand to give you a little bit of purchase to push it out like so. Now you get the whole unit out and as you turn it over you will see a plug. That plug is taped up by Tesla. It just wasn't connected because it couldn't be because the module they supply won't fit it. So there's no place in there to plug in your USC connector. So what you do now is you're going to remove the plug like so just pulls out no problem there and then you go just take off the screws there unscrew that and unscrew that the old module lifts off you put the new module on and then you put the screws back the three screws holding it in now you've got a plug in the socket to plug it in and you can plug your original one back now it's very easy it's now clipped in and all you've got to do now is offer it up into position push it in like so and it's done i'm going to put a usb hard drive in now to show my music working now we're going to see if it's connected so we go to the usb on the actual menu there it is it says it's actually found it and it's loading and there you go all of the music is there and you've got all your folders working and there it is 80,000 tracks <laughs> all found and before that you couldn't even play it it wouldn't even recognize it so now it's found it and now you can use that for anything you want would it be your light show would it be your sentry mode put a plug in the glove box you can put it in the center console where it should have been originally unfortunately for tesla they didn't add it and i went to tesla service yesterday to ask them specifically will they replace it if you ask them and they said they will put in the old model so in other words, basically, they would just replace it for what you should have and not what you could have, which means that you would just have it back as a charge port. If you want to have 
better than a charge port and have it what it's intended to be. So the only way is AliExpress. All of the um, instructions will be in the comments. So you'll be able to find out where to get it. And you know, I'll give you the link and so. And also, if you have done it or you're going to think about it, let me know in the comments what you're going to do. As promised you. Now, as a bonus, a look at a new accessory to make your Tesla life easier and more enjoyable. It's the drop stop. Now, it's very good. It's very easy to fit. You can see there you put your seatbelt piece through that. So that works. And this goes down the side. And now your phone can't fall down the side. Or your cards or anything that drops out of your pocket will not go down anywhere now. And this is universal, so it fits everywhere. It's £46 from Amazon. I will leave you the link. And I'm going to just show you now how to install it so that you can just seamlessly fit it into the car. There is a left and a right, so you can put it in and make sure you've got the right one. And we're going to show you now. Okay. So what you want to do is recline the seat all the way back so that you can get it there. And you're going to push the seat belt into the end there so it comes right out fold it through fold the seat back and then we're going to test it and now the phone won't fall down if you your pen knife it falls out your pocket nothing falls out thanks very much for staying to me to the end and watch this video if you're now getting 24.6 remember 28 is coming out with all those facilities I showed you on this video over here and also on 28 now you're going to be able to have different routes you know at the moment when you do your navigation you have to set one direction and it takes you there and you wish there was another route now there's going to be a choice of routes so that you can find the quickest one the long which is better which you may not want to use the motorway you might want to not go and it will show you all these other routes Long time been waiting for it is coming in dot 28. And if you want to know what's coming in 28, the real good thing when you're watching a movie, watch this video here. And that will tell you all about that. Anyway, until the next one, I'll look forward to seeing you then. I'll be seeing you.